Greetings, my fellow Sturgeons, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, Episode 56, A Man at Arms. Sega died in battle, yeah. Well. Rest in peace. Oh, Para Overlord, you leveled up. Let's give you dead aim. And I am going to limp back to Varcheg. We have a very shrinking army here. Kim only has 40... Oh, already escaped. Kim only has... Like, 40-something troops. 50... Low 50 amount of troops out of the... You know, 132 that we started with. We're tier 6! Nice! We're max, max tier. Our clan. So what that means is I can have up to nine companions and another workshop. That's pretty good. Have a Blade Kingdom come? Yes, I have. Not on stream though, just in my own time. So if you're wondering about the prisoners, uh, of all of the prisoners that I have, not a single one is recruitable at the moment. That's how long it takes. It's es essentially, it sounds like a cool mechanic. It just doesn't work quick enough for it to be a viable way to to add troops to your, uh, your party. That in having a bunch of prisoners on you that you're trying to convert slows down the movement speed of your army. And then you also have to feed them, which comes with its own problems. So, yeah, it's, it's not something I, I typically do. All right, here we go. We, uh, after the orchards are done, we'll do aqueducts. I do have over 400 troops right now, um, but that's not nearly enough to take it down. The thing you have to remember is I'm against all of Sturgia, and they're going to have, if you, if you take a look at the lineup here, um, they have 6k troops that I have to worry about. So I can't be... Throwing my troops around, um, raiding things, and losing because then I will have no army and I will lose the war. You have to think big picture. If you don't think big picture in, in Mountain Blade Bannerlord, and you focus on each individual fight and not the overall overarching war that you were in, you will lose everything and you will not succeed. So I'm trying to think big picture here. Making sure that I have a large enough army for when I need a large army, a.k.a. this fight. So this fight is uh, Rag and Vod. So this is like the title fight. And they outnumber me, but uh, I'm not that worried about that. Is there a way in this game to make money other than smithing? Sure. Uh, workshops, caravans, owning fiefs. Oh, not another village for... Oh, Jesus. Everyone, follow me! All right, we're not fighting this stupid village. They can come to us, and we're going to be... backs to the wall here. Archers! Stand up arrows! All right, arrows follow there. Infantry! Infantry Move. here. Shoot soldiers! Former soldiers! Forward! Okay, let's see how that works out. Oh, there's some lords and ladies that um, wanted to die. There goes Lek. See if I can't get the other ones. There goes Godin. Oh, you hit a tree? Well, like Tarzan says, watch out for that tree. There goes Kashtamir. Oh, you're just con guard. 
And I'm a little deep. I want to get back to my troops. Uh oh. That was not fortuitous. Okay, I like this formation. Infantry! Forward! Form a shield wall! I'm gonna have them turtle up and get ready. It looks like they're turtling, but they don't have bowmen like I have bowmen, I don't think. So this is not a viable strategy for them to employ. Let's see if I can't get uh, their Drew Hisnicks to commit to charging me. Oh, I gained a level. I'll take it. Hey, don't throw stuff at me. Either fight me or don't. Soldiers! Guess what? You're in the trap. I'm right here. You want me? Now that my they're right at the base of my infantry, I have my infantry charge. We're outnumbered immensely. But as long as my horsemen get here quick, should be okay, because we're sitting in my respawn spot. Ouch. Man, whoever just hit me, that, oh, shot me in the head. That explains it. Am I playing an easy damage? All the information about that is in the commands or in the title. That is true of every game I play ever. If you want to know settings and the like, everything is uh, bot commanded. I'm having my horsemen not go deep. I also should be probably a little bit more careful with my uh, hit points. Oops, sorry horse. So I recalled the horse. Wow, I have a single swordsman right now. No point in commanding him to do anything. Soul survivor right there. Troops! Move! All right. So I'm going to have to use my horsemen like infantrymen. Oh, man, I keep shooting my own troops. Now that we're sitting in my uh, respawn again. Oh, keep hitting my own dudes. Oh, boy. Atreus, thanks for the reset. No, don't do it. Champ, don't do it. <laughs> So this fight is for Ragnvad. So if they lose, the, I mean, if I win this, which is going to be a little tricky because they did outnumber me and it's been a rough fight, um, they're not in a position to do much in the rest of this war, I don't think, because they won't have a king. I think my horsemen are just um, cleaning up now. Yep, 
Yeah, it looks like the rest of them are fleeing. Hey, turn around. I dare you. Oops. <laughs> I shot my own. My liver, you say? Well, that's the most hard-working organ in my body. Oh, they're regrouped. Look at you with your like, uh, little... Hey, we have guts now. Yeah, let me get out of there. I'm going to regroup too. Footman! I got my footman back. I now actually have a unit of footmen. Alright, now they're regrouped, I'll tell them to charge. I'm at like 5% health, maybe 10. So let's duel. I win. Look at all their horsemen. One again. One again. Oh, you almost got me. One again. How about you? You want some? My axe is unquenchable. Oh, you're dead too. <laughs> no concern for my own physical safety or well-being. I just like chopping up horsemen. It's what I do. It's who I am. Oh. Changing direction. Fancy. Alright, you've been annoying. I'm about to get my bow. <laughs> oh, this guy wants a bow fight. I will oblige. No, don't make me leave the battle. <laughs> We're slightly out of bounds, but I'll accept it. <laughs> All right, they have nine people left. These are the holdouts right here. All right, Ragged Fat. He's probably not so happy about his choice to attack me, is he? Oh, wow, almost a 5 to 1 ratio, too. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Grand Prince Ragnvad, prisoner. Lek, prisoner. Castamir, prisoner. Roland, prisoner. Alrighty. I'm going to level my guys up. My capacity for their prisoners is, like, basically none. Okay. I need to get myself over to Varcheg pronto. Our numbers are bouncing back, but... If you look at my vassals, they have, like, almost nobody. In their, uh... In their individual armies. I probably should let them go, but I'm not, because I'm evil. Uh, how should I spend my focus point? So I did level up in that fight. I am now level 30. Uh, so I could spend it in endurance to get athletics. I could spend it in cunning to get tactics or... Well, I don't really use tactics, but like roguery, I guess. I could spend it in... Control to get bow. I'll leave that up to you. Let's see if anyone else leveled up. I appear to be the only one. 
Yeah, tactics is only useful for simulating battle. I know. That's why I said it wouldn't be really useful. Uh, the useful ones would be bow, athletics. That's about it. I mean, uh, maybe roguery, because I do use roguery. What I could also start to do is to use other types of weapons to get the skills for those weapons. So, like, to briefly switch to polearm or one-handed to get polearm and one-handed skills, which will then um, give part leader and army leader and captain benefits to my troops. So it is there is a bit of an advantage to diversify your um, your skills a bit, and I would consider doing that if uh, if you all want me to. So the Azurai grabbed Garantor Castle. Um, Thraktatori is about to fall as well. Now that they have Garantor Castle, wow, they still want a stupid amount of tribute. Like, truly, mind-bogglingly stupid amount of tribute. But the good news is, Ragenfad and, <laughs> like, a whole bunch of... twenty or 21 of his followers are now... Locked up in Varcheg. Serves them right. You picked a fight you could not win. All right, that is more money than they have. So what could I buy? Oh. Uh, wait, let me switch over to me. So mine does length 117. This is a length 121. Oh, yeah, it's, I know that one. So here's a two-handed polearm. You know, if I wanted a two-handed polearm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy it and lock it. In case I ever want to use it. And that way, um, Varchek has enough money to... trade with me. Alright, Rotoboss looks like it's ready for recruits again. And it looks like I'm going to go with control. So I'll resolve that one early. And stick it into bow. Uh, what next question I have is Sturgia still wants me to pay a whole bunch of tribute. Um, what should I focus on? Um, war with Sturgia or to capture northern castles or defend against Azurai. What do you think is more important? Now while I'm up here, uh, I am going to try to get as many recruits as I can. But there's some slim pickings now. What do I think is more important? Uh, it doesn't really matter what I think. I'd like to leave it up to you. Oh, Ragnvada escaped. Garbage. Absolute garbage. Oh, good. Now the Northern... Penton of the Northern Empire declares war on Yodavink. Uh, could, could, could... Could I have just like, I don't know, a little bit of peace for like a minute or two? This is getting ridiculous. Truly, utterly, mind-bogglingly ridiculous. Could I get new companions? Well, I'm not going to be going for new companions in the middle of um, a giant war. Because I don't have the luxury of being able to just take a knee from this fight long enough to get companions. You know? I would love to if I was at peace. Would love to. Because there's room for three more companions. I just 
there's no way I can go traipse it off to a town to go recruit. It's not going to be possible. Oh, great. They already have an army that surpasses my size considerably. Search for nobles without thieves? They're not going to be in my neck of the woods. Nobles or companions or any of that, they're not going to be here. I would have to travel elsewhere for it. Um, which means those aren't obtainable goals. That's why I didn't include them. I didn't... It's not that I forgot to put them on the poll. It's just they're... I can't do them. They're not possible to be done right now. All right, they're definitely besieging Varchek. I might be able to sneak in in front of them. No, that's not worth trying. All right, defend war with Ezra uh, Sturgia. So, I guess the goal really hasn't changed. Five oh two, man, he keeps growing. Kuzate declares war on Sturgia. So, taking a look, Azariah is at war with Southern Empire as well now. Northern Empire with me, Sturgia with me and Kuzate. Um. Britannia with uh, Valandia, Southern Empire with Azurai. So, it looks like a lot of my enemies are getting busy. But there's still the question of what to do about this giant army that I don't have the numbers to, to do anything about at the moment. So, I will head towards Rebel and try to recruit while I heal. Sturgeon is willing to pay for peace? Oh, yeah. Should I make peace with Sturgia? Because of their war with Kuzate, uh, they realize they're stretched a little thin fighting me. So I could make peace with them right now and then focus on one of my other two wars, Northern Empire or uh, Azurai. Azurai's already taken two territories from me. And then the Northern Empire has... They haven't captured anything that I would want from them. Um, but yeah. Oh, and then we have a choice about Garrison here. He reached the age of eight. So... Garrison, we were turning you into... Bow and Runner. So we'll do Huntsman. Bow. More Athletics. Okay, so Control's gone up. Athletics has gone up, and polearm, for whatever reason, went up. That one was random. Oh god, a bunch of level... A bunch of recruits. It's not good. Alright, I'm gonna call this one early. Because waiting doesn't make sense. If I waited, it's possible that we just lose... Wow, receiving 1,300 tribute a day. Okay. For whatever reason, the money went up. Oh, I think because uh, they got declared war on by Northern Empire, too. So, Sturgy is in a bad... In a bad or, Western Empire, rather. Who should... Should I consider making peace with one of my enemies? Should I make peace with Northern or Azurai, or should I just fight them? That'll be up to you. Alright, I disbanded my army. Um, 
Let me talk to Chemo if I can. Oh, great. Chemo's... There you are. So I need to give Chemo some troops so that I can even... Uh, conscript Chemo into fighting with us. There we go. And I'll let all the other vassals go so that they can try to refill their ranks. I do have some prisoners, don't I? Nope, I don't. Never mind. Who is it? Uh, Sturgia was at war with? Sturgia is at war with West Empire and Kuzi. So they've got their hands full. Which is good for us. Although I'm not at war with them anymore. So then the question is, will Northern Empire actually move on me? So Northern Empire, let's see. Northern Empire, you're at war with just me. So yeah, you're definitely going to be coming my way, no doubt. And then Azurai is at war with Southern Empire right now. Uh, so the Southern Empire, the Azurai might, we might be able to make inroads there. If I got my numbers up and, and rolled my own army. I mean, I'm not quite there yet because there's a lot of wounded and there's a lot of replacements needing to be made. For these, you know, I, I just have a uh, low tier army right now. So Remtoil's under siege. That's probably Northern Empire going after Remtoil. Alright, so who to focus on? Northern Empire or Azurai? Can't do both. Could you conquer any territory gained by Sturgeon enemies since they now have low loyalty due to map culture? Uh, I will take a look at that, actually. But I didn't really take anything from um, Sturgia in that war. Wow. Varcheg's being besieged. That's not good. All I did was defend Varcheg, more or less. All right, I am blowing the hordes of Gondor and signaling all of my vassals that I just dropped to come back. And before I do that, uh, I've got some looters to kill. Everyone, charge! I figured with all the super low level troops in my army here, I might as well have them get a little XP. Oh, if Sturgia loses anything, yes, it would give me the opportunity to take it from whoever they lose it to. So if Sturgia loses stuff to Kuzate, it's probably not going to be all that useful because Kuzate territory is way, way east. Um, but yeah, there's there's opportunities to do that for sure. So if I recall... I give experience to my troops for two-handed kills. So, uh, at the cost of my own blood, I shall power level my own troops. That would be good polearm training. You're not, you're not wrong. I'll pull about that if you guys want me to diversify weapons for more XP. So, of the... I killed 40. How did I only get 99% of the loot? Come on now. Give me a clean 100. We know I earned it. I hope I make it to Varchek in time. Oh god, more low-level recruits. 
What about converting prisoners into troops? So converting, um, converting looters don't make them Sturgeon. So it's not a it's not a viable method to get Sturgeon troops. I believe. Yeah, yeah. If you go into the encyclopedia, it will show you that. Uh, troops. I think somewhere. I thought so. If I go to Sturgia, here's all the Sturgian troops that exist. Um, so here's the looter tree. So if I recruited a looter, they could become an imperial infantryman and go down this tree. You know, one way or the other. But. Um, they're not going to be. They're not going to be the troops that I want to keep. I guess is the long and short of it. Sea raiders are sturgeon, yeah. Oh, are they in active siege? I think they are. Tazenor, guess what? I have bad news for you, dude. I'm big and you're squishy. Help Varcheg and attack. Oh God, they are so screwed. <laughs> they are so screwed. Who to focus on? Northern Empire. You got it. So let me update the goals. Fight Northern Imp and the Conspiracy. No tactics. I'm just going to mow these guys over. I'm going to try to gun for their leaders, though. I can see them hanging behind the... Oh, hello. Behind their infantry. You! No, get back here. Oh, this is annoying. Got him! There goes the captain. Oh, captain. My captain. Under thine axe, you fall. I'm probably not going to be able to find any other leaders here, so I'll just kill as many cataphracts as I can. Because they're fun to murder. Is this, like, the direction they're fleeing? Why aren't they fleeing backwards? I don't mind. This is my best lawnmower impression. I think with his dying breath, he screamed, I yield! A little late for that, friend. Ouch. Haha, -ha, I have something you don't. <laughs> Bo. <laughs> Not so clever now, are you? Oh, should have kept that shield up. <laughs> All right, I personally killed 48 of them. Not bad. Prisoner, 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 prisoner. <laughs> I'm going to take all of them prisoner because I'm right at Varcheg. So, ooh, a level six helmet. Nice. So I'll be able to not lose them. I hope. All right. Manage prisoners. 
Nice. So in terms of my own prisoners, I do have uh, nine of my 12 looters that want to be to join me. Um, another issue is I lose the morale, which is kind of important by recruiting dummies like that. So there's yet another reason why you probably should consider not adding them. All right, chemo fan. Here we go. Actually, perfect. Is there any good storage units in here that I should take? Recruits, and you can have my militia. You're three over, so give me your spearmen, spearmen, and otterok. Done. Okay, so Kimo now is topped up with troops. Uh, I need to kick her out of the party so I can go back in town. Unfortunately, that puts my garrison is to basically not be protected. Well, wow. yep. That's all that's going to be in the garrison here. So it's a very loosely protected town, and hopefully... Uh, they will, they being Northern Empire, will take the bait. Should I swap to pole arms Or one hand? So the reason I'm asking this is if I did, let's say I did. Um, there is a lot of skills in this tree that I could benefit from. So for instance here, Infantry troops in the formation have bonus damage to enemy cavalry or, you know, so if as I level up um, other weapon skills, I unlock captain and party leader and maybe army leader benefits that can impart bonuses to my troops that I wouldn't otherwise have if I just keep doing two handed because I am maxed out on two handed. There's almost no reason to continue with this. I'm learning it at point five um, and I already have all the skills. So that will be left up to you. Uh, let me. Wow. I will take that. Hey, look, I'm a cataphract now. Never mind. Give me my old armor back. Okay. Um. Hey, Dinky. Let's uh, let's make you look like a cat. Well, actually, that's worse. Scrap that. Never mind. But I will give you that helmet. There you go. It actually kind of matches. I, I like it. And then her old helmet is probably better than most other people's helmets. So let's see. You know. All right, that is all set. Oh, right, the other armor. So who has really bad horse armor? 32? All right, that's yours now. Do village. You have very shiny horse armor now. Congrats, you earned it. Uh, I will drink beer and eat cheese. Diet of a king. Done. All right, managing this town. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be back next, so I'm going to queue up marketplace and workshops and then also drop some money in reserve so it builds faster. What sort of weapon to switch to. 
one-handed or full arm. I could also consider switching up my ranged weapon. However, it's a lot harder to level up a uh, crossbow because most crossbows aren't used on horseback. And throwing gives you very limited amount of ammunition, which means as soon as you run out of ammunition, you can't really level up anymore unless you go like collect it. So they're a lot harder to level up, whereas like polearm would be pretty easy because all I have to do is swing. And well, I'm a swinger. I realize what I just said, but uh, Minnow, you leveled up. Dead aim for you. And Para Overlord, you leveled up. Let's give you well strapped. A well strapped swinger. Good. All right. I'm going to quick save. Just to make sure nothing wrong goes, happens. Okay. So Thractatory fell. Garantor fell. I predicted Varcheg. And I am at my party max. I'm almost at my party max. Wow, my party max is up over one four hundred. Holy moly! Chemo, come back. I think I got uh, a larger party as a result of uh, hitting a clan tier six because that makes your party size larger. I'm a one lord army. Yeah, I know. Have 400 men in my direct command is sort of obscene. I like it. There we go. 401. Well, my tactics for Northern Empire is going to be to capture vassals until they basically give up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just plundered those looters and stole their meat. I have no shame. I'm going to do this hideout because I'm bored and it's here and it's already nighttime. It's also a really good way to level up my companions because there's no one else in this fight other than companions. Yeah, I, I take lunch money from children. That's right. So polearm it is. After this fight, I'll be switching to a polearm. I'll switch to that War Razor and then keep my eyes open in the marketplace for other pole arms that I might want to try out as well. Figure out what fits best. You hate this map? It's a lot of walking. Yeah. Honestly, all of the hideouts I find funny the way they're laid out because they're massive and they're basically unpopulated. So they're not so much a hideout, it's, it's just like a bunch of brigands randomly in the woods. Oh, come on. Okay, Rambo. Yeah, it does fly by. It's been almost half a year. All right. The only reason I like these is if I can hit the super long shots. Because they can give you a pretty good amount of Oh, hit him in the shoulder from 130 meters away. I hit him again, but unfortunately in a shield. Oh, in the neck! Yeah! <laughs> it was only a distance of like 70 meters, but still, not bad. It's way more impressive to get those hits than in a giant battlefield where you're shooting at like 200 meters at a giant swarm of troops and it's easy to hit because like, how could you miss? There are hundreds of troops. Look at this duel. He doesn't even have backup. Very well. I will duel you. 
No, if only I knew how to crouch. To, uh, dip the tea, as nobody calls it. So I wouldn't mind grabbing Mechalovia Castle for... What clan is it? For Jarheim and Robsving, because they own nothing now. Personally, I want me to own Sturgeon territory, but I don't really care about my vassals. They can own whatever the heck they want. Before I forget, Warraiser goes in, and then my Avalanche gets locked. Because I don't want to lose the Avalanche, obviously. All right, little Mechalovia. I am here. Well, I'm glad I'm not at war with whoever this is. That's a lot of troops. This castle's layout looks like it's going to be really obnoxious to siege. And head on a swivel... Because I want to know when they have a large enough force to mess with me. So let's see. Northern Empire. Uh, I have seven of you prison. I only really have to pay a thousand tribute. That's not that expensive. If I can get the, bal uh, the budget to balance in my favor. Uh, settling peace with Northern Empire to then focus on Azurai and take back everything I lost would be pretty, uh, pretty awesome. What's my damage differences between the War Razor... And the Avalanche, so the Avalanche does 114 cut with a length of 117. And this does, it has a length of 205, so it has a length of almost double. Well, not almost. And then a, a cut of uh, 155. So it does more damage and it's like 80% longer. It just doesn't swing as fast. We'll see how I like it. It's maybe not the ideal weapon to use going into a castle fight. I will happily um, admit, but you know what? Why not? Uh, destroy raiders. Where? Penkanok? I'm not going down to Penkanok. I hate you. Arzagos, hire some other idiot to run your errands. All right, level up troops. Oh, here they- oh god, oh god, oh god. Ooh, that is way more than I have. Leave? Yeah. I think they're faster, but they're going to build up the nerve to attack me. Where do I go from here? I have pretty high cohesion, so if I can just ride around a bit, they'll lose cohesion and fall apart, I think. I can also pop into the villages here and, um, and get my vassals the opportunity to add recruits. Can I swing on the side or it's thrusting only? I it, ha it does swing damage, so I'm assuming it's swing. Let me get away from this village and chase them down now. Because they, they're back up. Dis disappeared. Thank you for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, which originally streamed live on Twitch July 28th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. 
If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Stay safe out there, my fellow Sturgeons.